Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Miss Universe 2022 Contestants Profile, Review and Analysis Welcome! So today we will be talking about the representative of the Philippines to the Miss Universe 2022 and also please stay tuned because at the end of the video I will be including Philippines on my Miss Universe 2022 ranking so we will check whether on where she lands on our ranking so check that out and before we talk about the representative of Philippines in Miss Universe this year let's talk about their performances in the last 10 editions so that will cover 2012 to 2021 well the Philippines have actually got a complete attendance because they were able to place in the last 10 editions where they have won twice and their latest winner was in 2018 with Catriona Gray and their latest placement was last year 2021 with Beatriz Luigi Gomez who was able to make it until the top five this year they just crowned Celeste Cortesi and before we continue don't forget to follow her on her Instagram account which is at Celeste underscore Cortesi which I will be posting right here so that you can be able to follow her journey to the Miss Universe 2022 pageant. Now, Celeste actually speaks three languages. She previously competed as well at Miss Earth 2018 representing the Philippines and she was able to finish in the top eight. And I have to say, I didn't have much expectation when Celeste was announced that she will be competing in Miss Universe Philippines. But I'm not sure if it's just me or others too, but I was completely shocked at the impressive transformation once the competition started. And to me, I feel like she nailed majority of the virtual sub-competitions that happened, if not all. Now let's go to her national pageant performances. You know, you know when someone's a real standout by just looking at her aura? And that's what Celeste showed during her swimsuit performance. She's got a great body, she's very confident, and we know that her walk was on one of the strongest. And we didn't only see that during the swimsuit competition, but during the series of virtual competitions as well, where they have to showcase their catwalk, I mean, she was outstanding. She was just beyond excellent. And during that night, during the finale night, it was her performance and her stunning face that truly worked together to make her a standout. And this, I believe, can be carried even on the Miss Universe stage. For the evening gown, simple. She was just a goddess that night superb performance and she's naturally confident and elegant and her face to me just screams winner and with her capabilities right now and even fast forward to miss universe 2022 finals i have actually have a feeling that she will be sailing through the top five very very easily i do not want to sound overconfident but i feel like as of this time celeste is sealed in the top five of Miss Universe 2022. For the public, for, I'm sorry, for the public speaking skills, I can guarantee you that she has improved by many, many folds. And she was more confident and articulate when she was on stage. I always love how she speaks with so much passion and emotion during the competitions where she was on stage. And something that can, it's something that you can really connect with. There's something about her that can really connect with that you can really connect with right away and that is very important especially with someone who's speaking in public and to the audience connection is very very important however my criticism arises because i know that this is not only me who noticed it but i feel like many people felt the same when the questions that were asked during the finals of miss universe philippines were too easy and we all know that that wouldn't be the case in Miss Universe because they will be talking more, talking about more complicated issues, very critical issues and sometimes could put you into a viral mode if it doesn't give a justifiable and acceptable response. So having said that, 
with her improvement in public speaking and interviews, I really hope that she will be prepared for unexpected and difficult questions because this would really test how good she is. I mean, we can already tell that she improved her public speaking skills when it comes to simple questions. But what about handling difficult questions? So that's something that she really needs to work on. And with the team, I am very confident actually. But let's not be overconfident at the same time. Because no matter how good you are, if the question really comes from the unexpected of all unexpected, it could really put you in a shock moment. So I really wish I could utilize all this time to tackle all possible questions as possible. Talk about the recent updates not only in the Philippines but in the entire world as possible so that they could be able to at least have the idea uh, and, and at least could, she could be able to prepare on what answer to give at least some if, if something comes out unexpectedly so i trust with the team of course and that this is the reason why i am really looking forward for another round of question and answer with mr boy abunda where they will be asking celeste a lot of difficult questions because that's where we will find out how the training or the, the effects or the outcome of all the training that she will undergo so overall I feel like Celeste is a real crown contender. As what I have said earlier, we have nothing to worry when it comes to beauty, performance, and public speaking. The only thing that would prevent her from winning now are, number one, the difficulty of question that she could possibly get. And of course, depending as well on who will be standing with her on that final five because if we have always have to we always have to remember that if the Philippines is working hard to win other countries are working hard too so that would really depend on who she's against in that top five okay but right now philippines have the right to be very very confident with celeste as their representative and having said that the philippines is the ninth candidate that we have reviewed and here's my current ranking for miss universe 2022 And as what you can see, me number 9 goes to Kazakhstan, 8 for Mauritius, 7 for Canada, 6 for Malta, four, four, five, 5 for Ghana, 4 Dominican Republic, 3 for Venezuela, and I'll put Philippines at number 2 as of the moment. And having a head-to-head -to -head toss-up toss once again with Colombia at my number 1, Maria Fernanda Aristizabal, just by a tiny, tiny gap. Because both of them are on a different league, to be honest, in comparison to others. So far, they are the strongest, I think. So it, number one and two could either way, could go either way, actually. So I would love to know your thoughts about my ranking, about your and your thoughts as well about Celeste. And if you wanted to, to if you wanted to check my reviews about the other candidates, all of my reviews are already uploaded on my YouTube channel, so you can go ahead and check them out at the same time. So for now. Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.